In this model, manufacturers or retailers would remain the owners of the products. Maintenance and repairs becoming part of the deal. Even better if running costs, like electricity, were included. For companies, it makes sense to retain precious materials when their future availability is uncertain and when prices are forecast to rise. Premature obsolescence would be phased out rather than designed in. Buying expensive goods up front would no longer be a necessity. It already happens with mobile phones and cars. Why not fridges, washing machines, power tools and so on? Couldn't a contract for a number of copies or washes from a high-end appliance be more beneficial for both providers and users? Better service at a better price. Companies win too. Materials extraction and production can represent up to 75% of the energy used to make goods. So if remanufacturing were introduced at scale, it would dramatically reduce our energy needs. At systems level, this would help the switch to renewable sources. A system that works long term by designing out waste and keeping valuable products in the loop and maintaining or remanufacturing them, creating jobs in the process. Shifting to a performance model is part of the solution when it comes to accelerating the transition to a circular economy. There's a world of opportunities for businesses as well as individuals and the shift has already begun.